Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon trading card game video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit special. We're going to be doing a pack battle. Basically, me and my buddy, Angelo, aka Team Booster Break, we're going to have a competition. We're going to be opening up a box of X and Y Phantom Forces. But we're going to see who can get the better pulls. It's kind of like a competition, but not really, since there's nothing really on the line, but... Yeah, that's kind of cool. Speaking of my buddy, Angelo, a.k.a. Team Booster Break. There's his little YouTube name. Pretty darn cool. He's got a pretty nice Breaking Bad logo there. He helped me uh, get this box, and he also sent me some free cards, which I have not looked at yet. And I'm very curious to see what we got. I think, uh, yeah, this is the note. I'm going to put all the cards down, read his note first. Enjoy, man. Good luck on the polls, Angelo. Team Booster Break. What a guy, what a guy. Thanks a ton, bro. And yeah, here's his little... Little no card. I mean, this is a, this is actually really cool. This guy's email and his Twitter on there. If you haven't checked out his channel, I highly recommend it if you're really into the Pokemon trading card game, because he actually uploads a lot. That's his main focus on his channel. So if you're into that, I highly suggest subscribing. He's a really awesome YouTube video. What the? <laughs> Just gives me a Gengar EX. I guess I was the worst one to uh, look at first, but man, heck yeah, dude! Not bad, not bad at all. Thanks a lot, man. That's an awesome pull indeed. Cool, cool beans, bro. And what else we got? We got a Blaziken Hollow. Looking pretty cool. Looking pretty cool. Got a Clot, sir. Uh, <laughs> not as cool. Noivern. Bunch of Furious Fist uh, Hollows, it looks like. A Charizard. Not bad either, not bad. Oh, dang, a, a Skepta. I don't even know what set that's from. Look at that Skeptile, man. Apparently, maybe he knows I'm a big fan of Skeptile. Not too sure. And hey, a Head Ringer from Team Flare. Awesome. A very, uh, very competitively viable card. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. So thanks for the free cards, bro. But now that that's been taken care of, the real competition can begin. We're going to open up our box. And I kind of want to keep the Gengar on the mat, like, in picture. So maybe I'll put the box over there or something. I think that's a good idea. So this is our second booster box opening uh, I think the way the rules go is that it's like uh, if you get a rare that's one point you get a hollow that should be two points maybe I think any EX Pokemon is three points and a full art or super rare is four and I really want to do this box art correctly this time Let's see if we can do that uh, we're going in there uh, come on get it get it there we go there we go now my box will uh, stay the way it needs to be Super! So we got 36 packs. I think I'm going to do this all in two episodes. Two episodes seems pretty good. You guys seem to like that last time. Just to stretch out the content a little bit. So as always, we'll do one part in the beginning. And another part at the end. Alright. Starting off the box with a DCE. Not bad. Another enhanced hammer. Almost got a playset of that. Pretty cool. Not bad. Got a gold bat with Sneaky Bite, a Suwaddle with the Nap Attack. Devastating. Truly, truly terrifying. <laughs> Got a Frillish Common, a Dino, Glygar for our uh, Gliscor, Heliotile, a Reverse Swalot, and a Talon Flame Rare. So I think that's one point for me so far. I'm going to feel really silly. That's not how the point uh, system works, but hey, we'll find out, we'll negotiate that. I highly encourage you to go to his channel, though, youtube.com slash teamboosterbreak. Check out his unboxing. His should already be up, and you can just see what pulls he got in there. All right, let's get the camera to focus this down. We get a gold bat. Ah, oh, Kingler with that really big claw and the really small one. A target whistle, Team Flare Gear. And bronze, oh, we're still looking for more bronze ongs. Be cool if we got a place out of that. A Purloin, a Suwaddle, Frillish, Dino, a Reverse Carablast, and a Diggersby Rare. So two rares back to back. I think I'm at two points. Two points. Can't complain though. Can't complain. We'll get some, we'll get some ultra rares eventually. Eventually. Did a really awesome uh had some really awesome pulls in the previous part. And I gotta remember to keep my uh, code cards separate. For those who are wondering, yes, we are gonna be doing more uh, battle videos coming very soon. Got to take care of some of these exams and stuff. Starting off this pack, though, with a Professor Sycamore, a Swalladoon, a Clef Key with Call for Family, a Punkaboo for our Night March deck. I can hopefully make one day. <laughs> a Muna, Bronzor again, 
purloin. A reverse Spiro. And oh my gosh! Another Manetric Bull Art. Dang! That is just beautiful. I am I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Heck yes. I, can, I love getting Manetric. Manetric is... Uh, I'm a big fan of this Pokemon card. I didn't know I'm using my clear sleeves this time. I like them. They're pretty cool. A little bit more reflective, though, so once they're in the sleeve form, kind of hard to see, but not bad, not bad. Uh, yet again, getting another Manetric. Not, not bad, if you couldn't guess. I like Manetric a lot. <laughs> so sweet. I think the only EXs we're missing from this set that are worth a crap, pardon my French, <laughs> are the Steel Types and the, uh, um, the Florgis. The Florgis that we're missing. So if we got any of those, that'd be awesome. I'm looking forward to making a Steel-type deck, though. So if we ever manage to do that, that'd be super stinking cool. Got a Klefki again. DCE. Enhanced Hammer. Speaking of enhanced, because my camera enhanced, that'd be super... <laughs> okay, need to stop with the uh, enhanced puns, I assume. Chansey. Pumpkaboo. Amuna, which I think is... Oh, nice! A card we haven't seen yet. That for Alligator. Stage 2 with 150. HP and it's a reverse, not a hollow. That's Hyper Whirlpool and Second Strike. Read those attacks if you want, but yeah, not a bad stage two. And we got a Swallowlot, not nearly as interesting. It's got Poison Gas, pretty normal. And Swallow Up, nothing really too exciting all about that. But hey man, I'll take it. Very happy to get that for Alligator. I was a bit bummed out we didn't get it in the last part, but hey. There's a time and place for everything, I suppose. You're not going to get every single card that you want out of just one booster box. Probably got to trade or, you know, buy a couple of your missing ones. We got a mystery energy. Looking pretty cool. I'm not seeing too many people actually running mystery energy. A lot of people are building uh, battle com or not building, but uh, running battle compressor. A Shauna supporter. A Zubat. Funnel Beam. A Fletchling hanging out near our house. Thanks for uh, confirming that for me, guys. A Skarmory. A reverse zero sec. Don't have one of those. We have a full art of it. But the reverse is still pretty cool. And an X Bloud rare. Not bad. Not bad at all. So far, we're, uh, let's see. Um, quarter of the way through the box. We only got one full art. But hey, that's fine. I mean, <laughs> one full art's better than nothing, right? I'm definitely cool with that. Let's bar code cards over there. I will have an unboxing of the uh, online TCG coming out very soon. Just got to get prepared with that. And make sure, you know, I get a couple more cards. Don't have an uneven number boxing. That'd be kind of boring, don't you think? We got a Shauna. Sycamore. Got some pretty good supporters in here. Not bad. We got a Swirlix. Pretty cool. Murkrow. Just a common. Zubat. That still dive attack, which is almost useless. Got a Fletchling. A Whismer. And a Mega Manetric! Heck yeah, dude! So now we got... We got the Mega, and we got the Normal. Heck yes, look at that. That is just awesome. Oh, baby, heck yes. I am so, I'm, I'm a real big fan of Mega Manetric. It's got Turbo Bolt. So, th so this is what a lot of people are calling the first playable Mega Evolution, because we have that Spirit Link, and its ability is actually pretty strong. If it wasn't weak to Dawn Fan, oh gosh. This guy would be running a muck 100%. <laughs> 210 HP, though, does keep it in check, but man, the artwork is just beautiful. Really do like the electric type, uh, Megas. A whole heck of a lot. Hope we get some more Mega Mega Emperors at some point. That'd be kind of cool, but hey, we still don't have, uh, what is the Mega everybody wants, and I actually want to? Mawile. Mega Mawile would be really cool, I think. Especially with all these Steel Assist cards coming out. That'd be awesome, dude. Be stinking cool, and I finally found a place for my trash, luckily, so we won't have that problem. We had in the first unboxing, but man, okay. Got a lot of love for Manetric in this first box. Not bad. We got a VS Seeker, Robo Substitute, another Lampin. Apparently, people are having a hard time finding Lampins, which I find kind of funny. They're kind of going up high for trade on the online game. Got a Swirlix, Murkrow, Reverse Gumi. Heck yes. Praise Gumi. Praise him. And a Yon Mega. Just a rare. Surprise Strike, though, and Windfall. I actually like cards. Or, uh, a Pokemon that have attacks that give you extra draw. I think that's really cool. I think, um, was it Tornadus EX Team Plasma had that? It was on an EX, but I feel like if they bumped that card up to drawing seven cards, that would actually be a pretty good card, but I don't know. Some people disagree. 
I guess. Some, pe some people know more about this game than I do, and that's perfectly acceptable. Got a Lampent, a Mystery Energy, another Battle Compressor. Heck yeah, I think we got a place out of that now. A Yanma, another Joltik. Gligar, oh man. That happened. <laughs> Hold on a second. You didn't see anything. We got a Gligar, Finion, a Reverse Manetric Spirit Link. Looking pretty cool for our Mega Manetric. Not bad, you can read that if you want to. Might be kind of hard to read with that glare, though. But a very, very helpful item card for Mega Pokemon. And oh my gosh! A Venomoth Rare! Wow! Pretty cool, pretty cool. We need to put the comments a little bit out of the shot. Don't let them do obscure the lovely uh, set I have. <laughs> Alright, so, so far only two EX Pokemon. I like getting Pokemon more than Full Art Trainers. I think everyone can agree with that. Unless it's a really popular character like Col... I mean, Colrus isn't popular, mind you, but... Some of the main characters. This set doesn't have the coolest uh, supporters, minus Lysander, so I don't really know. We've got a Croconaw, a Hand Scope, a Bodor, a Venonat, a Stun Spore. Not a bad attack. I need to make sure that I'm focusing on the card art, because I know that's mainly why people come to watch these videos. They just like to see what new cards are coming out, and I perfectly understand that. We've got a Gulpin, Sludge Bomb, a Yama. What's our reverse going to be? A Rock and Roller, and a. Ultra, what a secret rare Mega Gengar EX! Oh my gosh, we got both the Megas in the same box. I don't know the ratios on that, but oh man, a secret rare. <laughs> all right, so I don't know if anyone really cares at all, but a secret rare Mega Pokemon, the gold text on the Japanese kanji there. I think it's kanji. Hope so. And the Mega Rule is in gold. Also, the EX, I think, is in gold. Let's actually compare. No, I think the EX is gold in both. So, let's see. You can see the difference between a non-secret rare and a secret rare. This one's a bit shinier, and this one's actually going for a whole lot on eBay, so that's really awesome. I am happy to pull one of those. Heck yes. Phantom Gate, a pretty cool attack. I really want to make a deck out of this. So I feel like it has some potential. Man, what an awesome, awesome pull. Heck yes. So, so far, we're getting some pretty great pulls. Not getting too many hollows, though. What's up with that? Hopefully, we won't get any uh, Team Flare gear, because I have a lot of Team Flare gear, thanks to Angelo. <laughs> Give me the last one I needed. Make a pretty good deck, so that's awesome. Got two Headbringers now. Not bad, not bad. Toss our code cards over there. Let's keep the gravy train rolling, guys. That is an awesome secret rare pull. We got a Steel Shelter Gengar Spirit Link. AZ, Galago, Heliotoma, <laughs> I just can't believe we got a secret rare, that is so awesome. Got a Totodile, Alamola, Reverse Skates, and nice, a Chandelure, Hollow, that really nice, uh, what is it called again? What's the, what's the new stadium? Oh my gosh, I'm such a, such a Dumbo. Spirit Valley, Spirit Valley effect going all around the card, pretty cool, pretty cool. Not bad. Fix my glare problem. Just had to uh, move my lamp a little bit that I have. For making these videos a little more appealing. So let's see what else we got. We got, uh, got a couple left. A couple left. A couple more packs. We got Diancy up next. Not bad. I really like the texture of these uh, brand new packs. They're very, um, what's the word for it? Very, very, um, flat, I guess. They're very air factory sealed, man. They have been hanging around at Walmart for who knows how long. And you know, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's cool textures. What I'm getting at. Next pack, though. We're using the Diancy. We usually get pretty lucky with Diancy. So let's see how this goes. King Kingler, no one even cared about. So I didn't bother even filming it. Got a Steel Shelter. Krabby. Totodile. A lot of water types. Well, just speaking of water types, and no man. Commons are flying everywhere. A Whismur. A Swirlix. A Chansey. And a Mighty Yana. Not bad, not bad at all. Next pack, if I get an Aegislash, I would actually be really happy. Um, one of my favorite Pokemon to use in my X and Y playthrough was actually Aegislash, so if I get one of those, that'd be really... I'd like that, basically. I think, I think the, uh, I like the shield design a little more than the sword. I think that's really good for, uh, cards anyway, so... Be nice if we got one. There's not a full art Age of Slash, mind you, but, you know, that'd be cool. I think, though, we'll make another Age of Slash. Pokemon usually likes making doubles of certain cards, especially Mewtwo. Got, like, 20 Mewtwo EXs. And, you know, got a Joltik, Carablast, Chansey, 
Let me stop hitting my wall like a crazy man. Zubat, a Reverse Finion, and a Blissey. Not the most exciting pack, but hey, some of them gotta be dulls. I mean, we, we're running low on the hollows. I think our only hollow was the Chandelure, right? Yeah, I feel I mean, if you count, you don't count the, you know, the Gengar EX I got by mail, you know, traded to me. All right, let's do that. And we got Dimension Valley. Looking pretty cool. My friend actually uh made a pretty interesting observation. Does this remind anyone of... Uh, Joe Jimbo, I think was his name, the Dragon Ball Z antagonist. He had an area which was like the Nether Realm, kind of like little jelly bean things like that. In his little movie, so maybe there's a reference there. Not too sure, but hey, they look cool. Got a ooh reverse Pyroar, and a Spirit Zoom rare. Pretty cool, pretty cool. B cancel and confuse Ray. Not the most exciting Spirit Zoom. Not nearly as cool now that it has a weakness to Fairy types, but hey, he's all right in my book, I guess. Next pack we got. Let's see. We got. We got. We got five more to go. Let's move the box out of the frame. Set these down. Like this. I think that's cool. I think that'll make a good shot. So what do you? What do you guys think? What? what or if we're gonna get any another EX or another full art, what do you think it's gonna be in? What pack? This is an interesting one. And don't say Mega Manetric because you know that doesn't. You know what? We're gonna open this one, and then then your choice is a little more obvious. We got really cool uh, pack art this time. I like that. Shows some pretty cool Pokemon, in my opinion, for this set. That's why I was so excited for him. Like, heck yeah, the special attackers, man. Even though, well, you know, he, he's not really a special attacker nowadays. He's more of a physical attacker in Age of Slash, but hey, whatever, man. Got a Fletch Finder, a Zero Sec, a Loudred, Gumi, Muna, Fletchling, Rogan Roller, Pumpkaboo, a VS Seeker, and hot diggity dang, we got a Manetric EX. Whoa. This is the normal artwork, and I'm actually really pumped about this. You see, the full art's great and all, but I actually like the normal artwork a lot, too. I mean, both are great, but this one just really, I don't know, it's a lot more read readable on the text. We got Assault Laser, Assault Laser, <laughs> I think I'm a little too excited. Assault Laser, an Overrun. Now, if Assault Laser hits an Evil Tall, that doesn't have a Shadow Ring in effect, and also has a tool on it, that's a one-hit KO. So yeah, Assault Laser, pretty good attack. Kind of want to use it in a deck first. Got to get a play set of them. So this will definitely help out in that. Nice. So I think one more Manetric EX and we'd have a play set, which would be pretty cool. Get in my shot, Zero Sick. There we go. So we're down to our last four packs, boys. Which one's going to have the last EX? I feel like we can get one more EX, or at least one more Full Art, out of this half of the box. Keep in mind, we still got a little more to go. A little more. So... Gotta, gotta keep your eye on. Okay. okay. So we're gonna start with Diancie. Why? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just a hunch. Diancie might have something good in it. Maybe. It is a legendary Pokemon after all? Zooming on that Manetric Spirit Link, though. Pretty cool trainer. We got another Giraffe Rig. A Fero. Then a Net. A Finion. Pretty nice. Lit Leo. Gotta be a little more gentle with the cards in case there's something really good. Wanna make it mint? A Muna. A reverse gulp and, and oh baby! We got the most com uh Galvantula. Eh. <laughs> not really too spectacular, but that's fine. So Diancy. Not really the most amazing pack this time. But my money is that on one of these, one of these. Not two. One will have a pretty cool steel type. Think about it, we've been getting Manetrix, we've been getting Gengars. Where the heck are the Steel Tons? Where's Dialga chilling at, man? That's what I want to know. Where he be at, man? Alright, we're going to find out, though. We're going to find out. we got a Gengar Spear Link. Pretty cool. An AZ. A Zoellus. Pretty nice. We got a Poochiana. Yanma. Spiro. Heliotile. Murkrow. Murkrow's like, where is... Oh, he's, <laughs> he's in Leomo Station. I was like, what? Alumio Station. We got Lysander's Trump card. And nice! A card I didn't have yet. A Gudra Hollow with Dragon Pulse. Let's go to the top card of your deck to do 130 damage. Get that boy a Muscle Bane. That's 150. Not terrible. Not terrible. And Slip Trip. Each player can attach Pokemon tool cards from his hand. Meh. That's, that's an okay ability. Definitely better than the Gudra from... I think Flashfire? Yeah, it was Flashfire. Really, really big improvement. I can dig that, man. I can dig that. 
pretty nice hollow. I think we might have all the hollows in the set now, so that's pretty cool. So, Diancy had Jack Cramp. Age of Slash was a little better. Actually, not Age of Slash, that was Gengar, I think. Pretty sure it was a Gengar. Which one's gonna have it, man? Which one? We're gonna find out. We're gonna start with the Age of Slash. Can we get Age of Slash out of the Age of Slash pack? Here's hoping. Heck, I'd just like a Dialga. Any Steel type would make my day. Let's see what we get. We got a Fero. Need to make it. Uh, this, this trick apparently helps very well with the, the focusing. <laughs> so I managed to value more roller skates. Pretty cool. People want four of those. Sometimes when you get that heads on the roller skate, can really turn the game around. Finion, Let Leo, a Reverse Zubat, and a Gliscor. Gliscor. One of my favorite Pokemon from fourth gen, actually. I like that guy a lot. Pretty cool artwork, too. But. We got one pack left, guys. One more to go. What's gonna be in this one? The heck if I know, but let's tear it open and find out! <laughs> oh man. This one has like extra glue on it or something, but. Don't know what's up with that. Oh man, I have made a mess of my room yet again, but that's, you know, kind of just how unboxings work. Alright, let's get that on. We got a Zoellus with Salam. Manetric Spirit Link. Come on, last pack luck. Girafferig. Wisma. Swirlix, Hoochiena, Yanma, Spiro. Ooh, nice! I think this is the other card we didn't get. A reverse Regigigas with Daunt and Heavy Impact. You can actually see it there. He's like moving one of the route signs with his giant hand. Really cool. And our last rare of the pack. It was a steel card, so <laughs> I guess I'm a little bit right. As an ex scavalier with Spiral Rush. I'm gonna keep my hand steady. Pretty stinking cool. I mean, hey, I would have liked an Age of Slash, but hey, man, I'll take it. I'll take it. So, in all, our, our non EX pulls, I'll do the total of however we're grading what pulls we got in this uh, box battle. But our EX pulls were Manetric EX. Actually, I guess not our EX pulls. Manetric EX was one. Pretty happy about that. We got a Chandelure. Just a hollow. A secret rare Mega Gengar EX. Pretty righteous. We got a Mega Manetric EX with Turbo Bolt. Pretty psyched about that. And another full art Manetric EX. Stinking awesome. Stinking awesome. Anyways, that is going to do it for part one. Make sure to like this video if you'd like to see more TCG Booster Box unboxings like this one. And also, don't forget, we still got half a box to go, so stay tuned for the next part. Thank you all so much for watching, and also do not forget to check out Team Booster Break for the other half of this box battle, because it's going in two rounds. It's going to be awesome. Anyways, so see you guys in the next episode where we open up the remainder of this box. Bye.